with a game as fun and high paced as Rocket League with its crazy physics, flying cars and pinpoint accuracy playing such a vital role in whether you come out on top, it's important to keep lag at bay and keep your latency to a minimum. In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to do that using Duma OS. Our award winning router operating software has a whole range of features to help you take more control of your connection. Before we do anything network related or jump into a game, there are some small things that we can change immediately in the settings that are going to help. First, go to the gameplay tab of the settings menu and make sure that client send rate, server send rate and bandwidth limit are all set to high. Depending on your connection, we may want to change the input buffer setting as well. It's going to be set to default, but you're going to have the option to switch to STS or CSTS. And if you've got no idea what I just said or what these mean, then listen up. STS and CSTS are strategies to try and reduce latency for those players who are suffering from connectivity issues. STS or sim time scaling can help you achieve a smoother input as it will allow the game server to instruct your client to speed up or slow down on the fly as and when it's needed. CSTS or continuous sim time scaling is basically STS on steroids. As the name suggests, it uses a continuous feedback loop to determine game speed. Then one final setting to change before you jump into a game. Once you've picked your playlist, in the top right corner of the screen you're going to see an option to change your search region. It's important that you select the region that's closest to you to help keep your ping to a minimum. Now if after all this, lag does still turn up, out of the blue, uninvited, a bit like Adele, your first port of call is to check the Rocket League server status. In the description below we've included all the links that you need to check this just in case you're not the cause of the issue. A few other things to always consider before you jump into any high paced competitive online game. Always game over a wired connection whenever you can. We understand it isn't always possible but it is always recommended. Also make sure you're using a decent gaming monitor with a high refresh rate that's capable of also delivering a high FPS. Having these lower than ideal can lead to choppy gameplay which is going to put you at a significant disadvantage, especially in games like Rocket League. So now the really juicy part. Selecting your search region is one thing, but selecting your favorite servers is another. Using GeoFilter, one of the main features of Duma OS, you can do exactly that. No more matching with players on another continent and no more bouncing around between servers with each game feeling different to the last. First, let's use Ping Heatmap to find out where the game servers are. Then head over to GeoFilter, add your device, and once this is done, you can draw a radius around your preferred servers. At this point, it's a good idea for me to mention that this should match your search region that you selected earlier, otherwise you could run into some matchmaking issues. Then next time you search for a game, all connections outside of this radius are going to be blocked. So now you're on your chosen server, but what about your busy network? In the back of your mind, you can't help thinking about the other people in your home. Are they watching Netflix? Are they on Zoom taking conference calls, downloading files? Are they slowing you down? With Duma OS, you can take care of those people too. Calm down, I obviously don't mean like that. With congestion control, you can limit the amount of bandwidth that everybody else can use. Bandwidth allocation allows you to give a percentage of your total bandwidth to the devices or applications that you care about the most. Then finally, we've got traffic prioritization. Normally, each application using your internet will be queued on a first in, first out basis. Traffic priority can detect your game in traffic though and push it straight to the front of the queue, helping to prevent lag and keep your ping as low as possible. And that's it. You've done absolutely everything you can to keep lag at bay and optimize your Rocket League experience. For more information on anything we've discussed or to see how you can get access to Duma OS and all these amazing features, visit our website, netduma.com. If you've got any tips of your own or any questions, please leave them down in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video.